Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today we have the owner of the simplest swing in the game, Albert Pujols, and we're going to show you how he uses his short stride and his nice hand path to create the simplest swing in baseball and provide that maximum power and consistency that we're all looking for. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, well let's dig in and talk about Albert's stride. Let's go ahead and take a look at his lead foot here. We're going to notice that Albert doesn't even leave the ground when he strides. He just is simply picking his foot up and putting it right back down. He leaves the toe down. And what we need to understand about a small stride is that we're not, we don't have to have a big stride to gain a lot of power. We just have to get our body going. So if you compare him to like a Jose Batista who gets his knee way up in his chest before he goes, that's just how Jose times his pitches up. But if we can simplify our stride, we can do one of the most important things in baseball, which is keeping our eyes still. Let's take a look at Albert's head through the duration of his swing. If we just watch, we see that his head hardly moves around in this circle whatsoever. Guys, this is so critical. This is why Albert's been able to be so consistent for so long, is that his head does minimal movement. His eyes are able to focus in on the ball and then this allows him to minimize eye movement, which in turn minimizes how much the ball moves in your perception. So if the ball is staying perfectly still in your perception, we have a much better chance of squaring it up and hitting it on the sweet spot. So if we can learn to simplify our load versus getting a big leg kick or a big knee lift, which inevitably is going to make our head drop, which also makes... We're going to greatly increase our chances of striking the ball properly due to the fact that it's not moving around in our eyes. So a good way to gauge this, guys, is when we start to learn how to stride, we can pick up our foot off the ground. But let's pay, pay attention to what our head's doing and make sure that if we had a circle here, it, that it would stay in this circle. And if we can minimize our stride to about a baseball width, so say if we started in this position, we can stride our foot to about a baseball width. And guys, this is going to be plenty to get our momentum going forward. It's kind of the same concept as like pushing a car. Like it's kind of hard to get going, but once we get it going, it's easy. So once we get that stride going, that's all we need. We don't need anything fancy. We don't need a big leg kick or anything like that. Now, down the road, if you learn how to keep this head still with a little bigger leg kick and it feels better to you for timing purposes, that'll be great. But let's go ahead and learn how to get a nice small stride and keep that head as still as possible, giving ourselves the greatest chance for success at the plate. Now, if we take a look at Albert's bat path, it is very simple A to B. Now, for a lot of guys, this, this isn't the simplest thing in the world to do. Now, I'm going to explain a very simple swing thought that you can have that will get you going A to B. Now, if you get into a nice loaded position, what we need to do is we just need to think about our hands going forward. If we get our hands going forward, we are going to take the shortest distance to the ball. And this is what he's done so well throughout his whole career and why he's just been such a dominant hitter is that he is so hard to pitch to because he has simplified the stride in his hand pad. Now, a side view of getting these hands going forward, we can see that from his load, his hands start moving forward immediately. What I see with a lot of younger players is They'll get to their load position, and then they'll try to either go back more, or they try to go down and then around. we got to think getting our hands going forward as quickly as possible, and it's that simple. We get into a nice load position, we get a simple stride, and keep that head movement real still. We're going to be very, very deadly hitters, and pitchers are not going to know where to throw to us, just like Albert Pujols. Now, guys, stay tuned. i got a great bonus coming up for you. I'm going to show you a preview of one of the videos in our Power Hitting series. And if you click on the link that pops up in the preview, it will take you to a page where you can see the entire Power Hitting series for free. Go ahead and check that out, guys, and you'll start learning those great hand pass and getting some really great drills that get you hitting the ball really hard. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all soon. We want to take our hands and we want to bring them back in front of our body. If we were to have a line right down our feet and our feet are dead square, we can imagine a wall coming right up out of that line in front of our face. And what we want to do is keep our hands in front of that wall at all times. They should never get behind this wall at all. Some of your better hitters will stay in front or get right on this wall, but they never go behind the ball. So if you watch them from down the line, you'll see that their hands stay in front of their body the whole time and now they're able to go from point A to point B and get as solid a contact as possible to hit home runs. So what we're going to do to work on this